Hello guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to open a Microsoft Excel, a new Microsoft Excel spreadsheet workbook. Now, this process of opening a workbook is similar to that of opening a Word. All you need to do is click on your Start, scroll down, look for Excel. You notice here I have Excel 2016. So once you click it, it will load up your Excel. It's currently loading. Now, my version of Excel is Excel 2016, which means that if you are using an older version of Excel, it may not look exactly like my own. Now, you notice that the, the welcome page is similar to that of Microsoft Word. As you have a blank workbook, you have different templates also that you could use for different things. Now, let's start with a blank workbook. Now, to create that, you just click on the blank workbook like I just did. Now, you notice the interface is also similar from the top until you get to the sheets. Now, if you look at this, the difference between this and Microsoft Word is that Microsoft Word gives you a plain sheet. Now, this one gives you sheets, a sheet with cells in it. Now, let's give, let me give you a quick overview of what the features of Microsoft Excel on the on, on the on the top of the on the top of Microsoft Excel, you have the title bar, where you have the title of your of your workbook. You have your minimize, maximize, and close buttons also. You have your ribbons. You have your file home, insert page layout, formulas, data review, view. In, some of you may not see the developer as developer is for more advanced features. Now, going going down going down, you notice that we now have a we have this bar here. Where my mouse is hovering around now this year is called this year houses the cell name now you notice here that let's say i click on a cell here now do you notice the cell name is titled a1 it's called name box you know this cell here is titled a1 which means the first column and the first row the first column and the first row columns are labeled with abc while rows are labeled with numbers columns alphabet rows numbers now this here is called the formula bar. Now the formula bar is what you use in typing your formulas or text, whichever whichever that you need to type in Excel. Okay. Now let's go into the main sheet. Now in, on the main sheet you have a lot of small small boxes. Now each of these boxes are called cells, and they are named based on the column they are they are on and the row they are on. The intersection between column and row is called a cell. And that is the initial name it carries. Now let's go down. Let's go down. You notice that on the right side you have a scroll bar. You have a scroll bar, like we discussed earlier. The scroll bar allows you to move up and down on your sheet or left and right. Now below this you have your. You have a, a tab here where you have the sheet name. Now we only have one sheet here. Now the sheet is called the title of the name of the sheet is called sheet one. Let's give it a let's to rename it. You can just double click it, double click on the sheet tab. Then let's call this N power. Now to add a new sheet, you will notice that there is a small plus sign here, which is telling you to add a new sheet. Once you click it, it automatically adds a new sheet to the one that you already have. Now if you have so many sheets. And the space is not enough. You can use this scroll bar to move between. You can use this arrow here. There will be an arrow here that you can use to move between sheets and all that. Now, okay, okay. Now, you on, in this section, you notice you have a plus sign and a minus sign. Where my mouse is currently hovering, you can either add, increase the size of your sheet, or reduce the side, size of your sheet with it. So. Let's, I think we should end this course at this point so that we can start in you can start properly introducing it to some of the features of Microsoft Excel in the next video. Thank you.